Today we're flying on a Saab 340 before Logan Air retire them at the end of 2023. We're routing Donegal to Glasgow and this was filmed back in summer 2021. Donegal is famously the world's most scenic airport. The runway runs parallel to the beach which I imagine makes for some tricky conditions to land in. The terminal is the small building just over there. Given its size I've walked up to a sand dune to capture our aircraft landing. It's a nice firm touchdown there. With that, I should dash back over to the terminal to make sure I can get on board. So the terminal here is quite small and it all looks fairly new and modern. Today's flight's looking pretty full. There's only one flight left of the, of the day here. Um, the terminal's pretty busy, so I'm expecting a full Saab over to Glasgow. Let's head on inside now. This is the arrivals, check-in and coffee shop area. Here's the bar, Guinness served in a can, not on draft unfortunately. And here's check-in, two counters next to the reception desk. I needed to get my boarding pass here before heading through security. At Donegal, you only go through once your flight is called, so there's no rush really to join the queue. As passengers alight, the bags are offloaded onto a pickup truck, which is pretty novel. This is the departure lounge, consisting of I think two gates with one new security lane, meaning no need to remove liquids or electronics. Donegal is a classic airport, one of those brilliant places where the airport is so small but so brilliant. Everyone knows each other and everyone does everything. So uh, the same person who will check you in is the same person who will board your flight, is the same person who does security. It's brilliant. All right, it looks like we're just getting ready to board now, so I will see you on board. Boarding through gate two? Oh, come on, has anyone ever boarded through gate one, ever? Let me know in the comments. Everyone boards via the front steps onto a Saab. There's no rear steps, there's no rear door. Notice the steps are part of the aircraft. Emergency exits, so all your bags will need to go up on the low oh, yeah. Thank you. Row five on the single seat. Now, before we take off, I'm going to jump around in time slightly. The crew were fantastic and let me film the aircraft once we'd landed. And I all know you'll want to see that, so here goes. The cabin features a 1 2 layout with overhead lockers on the side where the double seats are. The back row of four has a spare seat in the middle that isn't sold, but if it was, that would give you plenty of leg room and it'd look something like this. The overhead lockers close upwards and are small, so don't expect to fit too much in. Row seven features the exit row and the overhead panels feature oxygen plugs. Let's head for takeoff now and stay tuned. We're gonna to get to go in the flight deck once we've landed into Glasgow. Our props now fired up. Let's head out to the runway and head into the skies. It's a lovely takeoff. I only wish the sun was shining to really make the most of the scenery. Thankfully, only low cloud and we're soon above it. It's a very loud aeroplane, but I'm happy enough. I'm sitting in 5A one of the solo seats, which is just in front of the wing and gives you this view here. 
there's enough legroom for me, but the width is restricted by the curvature of the cabin. A small tray table is attached to the seat in front. It's fine for a short flight. You're not gonna be getting a three course dinner on it. The window side of the seat features a movable armrest. The aisle side though is locked. We're also generously provided with a seat belt. Each passenger has an air vent, a reading light, along with a crew call button. And here's the safety card, which I should probably have read before we took off. Let's have a quick walk forward to the loo. As you might expect, it is very small. You might not expect though, for it to have no sink, only wet wipes. We're a good portion of the flight through now, and we're starting to approach the Scottish coastline, which is beautiful in itself. I paid 121 euros, including seven euros for seat selection. This flight wasn't a cheap one, but it's one that I'm thankful that I got to experience, given this aircraft's gonna be phased out soon. Pulling on stand on time, we have to wait a moment to allow the props to be powered down before the seatbelt signs are switched off. Let's go and check out the flight deck. Thanks very much. A massive thank you to the crew who let me come and sit in the captain's seat and entertain me for a couple of minutes, chatting me through a couple of stories that they've had on board the Saab. Being last off, I disembarked with a wheelchair passenger. Farewell Saab 340, you were a blast to fly on. Welcome to Glasgow. That was a pretty decent flight, wasn't it, on uh, Logan Air and their Saab? I really enjoyed that. As ever, please do subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more of these in the future. There's loads in the backlog that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Check those out too. Thanks very much for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.